hata ni kuweka groves kwa mikono na kuchukua gunia groves sasa inasaidia na nini lazima tumekaukiwa tu iko chini huku we are remaining with seven seven workers we had around 20 maybe in a scale of 1 to 10 we doing at least 3 She's going to work I'm working at home yes. but it's on shift like shift wise ka pata leo tujauza kitu hatuwezi kula majani serikali sasa haijali watu It's almost a month since Kenya announced the first COVID-19 case in the country. As the number of confirmed cases rises daily, curfews, movement restrictions and business closures have drastically changed Kenya's social scene. Wangige Market lies approximately 18 kilometers from Nairobi CBD, and as the population rises, a good chunk of the city's workforce dwells here. Construction of the Western Bypass destroyed many makeshift business spaces and coronavirus is not helping at all. Atang corona yase biashara imekuwa shida sababu hata mahali ya kuchukua misigo hakuna. Tunachoka sana mahali tunaenda kuchukua. Well, um, quite a drop in the business. Uh, we used to do quite well before corona uh, came along. That's around January and February. The business and the flocks of people used to be quite high but uh, at the moment we are experiencing a drop in the number by around 7 705 we are already already closed and that's when we used to fetch quite a lot of business uh, around 7 30 pm through to 9 pm because most of people living around uh, close their jobs at around 8 or 8:30 and when they come along they will pick and buy some medicines and yeah We are undergoing a low season and what we used to sell before the corona virus came in is it was up but nowadays we've gone really down Kama ndo wenyewe huko imehamishwa imekuja huku chini sasa tunaomba tu serikali tukumbuke Food supply is low demand is high and money is scarce Market closures have made businessmen to improvise using personal car boots for market stalls. Nyo ni perfecti wa watu kwa sababu watu wengi hapa kwa hizo huko wamerent. Wamerent wamekuja kuwakomboa nyumba. Sio wanaperekaji wanaperekanaje na Marad Road kwa sababu kuna wengine wameongea na Marad Road watalipa soko kifunguliwa ama hii ugonjwa penye tutafikiza tu. Tutaomba Mungu tu hiyo gonje tu tuombe ishe. Tuseme kama tumenunua dis 500 saa hii ni 800. Kuleta inafika hapa na kitu kama 1000. Sasa hata ukiuzia mtu dis 3 50. Unaona hata wewe mwenyewe ukiuzia unamhumumia. Kwa sana kasi. Wamerudi nyumbani wote, watu wote wako nyumbani. Sasa mimi hata nashangaa. Unanunua kitu lakini kuhusu <laughs> watu wote wajajua hawajipanga kama mwenye kona pesa amejinunua vitu vya mwezi mzima ndio wanyi mwenye waona huko nje ndio wametandika mmoja mmoja ndio mtu at least apate unga ya watoto wake eateries shops and other businesses are taking a hit too in the first days we used to open early that is before 6 and we used to, to run like 24 hours so by 6 or 6:30 we are forced to close down we are remaining with 7 7 workers we had around 20 yeah that is day shift and night shift we have been forced to to sit down with them and talk about it and we've also sent some home and they they had to understand because business is low for now watu wako lakini wanaenda mguu aga kabaiki kana tafuta gede na bado mwenyewe zake eh kama mimi 
na bebanga kukusoko. Sasa watu wamesota. Kila mtu anabeba kwa supa. Niko na watoto watatu na bibi. Sasa vile wako nyumbani, sasa mi nasema, hata kama wanakuranga kilo moja kila siku, mkate asubui. Kilo moja, Zioni. The kids are at home used to, you know, to feed on two meals a day. Maybe they will take others in their, in their, in their, in their schools. But you will find out that kids are people who will want to feed each and every moment. So basically it means that your budget has to appreciate it one way or another. Um, my wife again, uh, her contract just ended the other day because of the COVID-19 again. So you will you'll actually see the burden, you know, which has been left to one particular party. In this case now me running the business and... Maybe it's quite, quite, quite difficult, but I, we, we are trying to push along. Hey, busy men, that's in this area. Do na patamse ana kwambi pesa konazo ni za food. Do we do do? You know na bado history te na imeleta. We do do ni shalini. Last month we could do a case that was amfu. Kwa sa unona apa ivi ka apa atale atu jauza kitu. Kwa si ku kwa si ku ne za pata na ndamta na kitu kaza o ine ama thirty five. Ma kini sa i. Seuna pata adim tau nezenda adika una kitu wacha adi yo adu neza sema doel. Una pata umenda mtano jauza kia tuwa hote. Evening is fast approaching and the 7 p.m. curfew will be affected by police whips or so the populace fears. Shopping centers in the whole country are empty within a few minutes. Even the busy Nairobi Central Business District's downtown becomes a shell of its former self, a 24-hour business hub. Of course, we can never wrap without an appeal for the country's leadership to do something. We just hope and pray that this thing goes away. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hitting us on big time. 